Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I bring you a quick hair tutorial. I get asked about this style all the time whenever you guys see me on Instagram through Insta stories. I get a ton of questions about my hair, what products I'm using, what curling iron I'm using, that kind of thing. And so I figured that I would get a video together to show you exactly how I have been styling my lob. I've learned a lot of what I'm doing through watching my hairstylist Hannah whenever she styles my hair, which if you're in the Augusta, Georgia area and you're needing a new hairstylist, I will leave her information down down in the description box below. She is fantastic. Um, and also through watching David Lopez on Instagram, which if you don't follow him, I will also leave his handle down in the description box. I've learned so much of what I'm doing through him and also through watching Hannah. So combining the two together, this is how I've been styling my hair and you guys really seem to like it. So thank you guys for requesting this. I really hope that you enjoy the video and that perhaps, um, yeah, you see something new in it that you're like, oh, maybe I should do that, you know? Now let's get into it. All right, so before getting started, of course, I'm gonna be adding some products onto the hair. Definitely want to get a heat protectant in there, especially since, you know, I've bleached it. It's a little bit more fragile and it's a little bit more vulnerable, my hair, um, to like breakage and damage. So I'm going to be using this um, heat protectant from the dry bar. It is their liquid glass miracle smoothing sealant and it protects your hair up to 450 degrees. I usually have my curling iron set at 370 and that seems to work just fine. Before I start drying, I am gonna be using a root booster as well. This one is from Moroccan Oil. I just really like to add some volume to the roots because my hair just loves to lie really flat up against my head. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of this along the roots. All right, next heat protectant. All right, and just going in with a wide tooth comb and just making sure that everything is evenly distributed through the hair. All right, next, it's time to blow dry. The way that I'm gonna be blow drying is just by leaning my head to each side and lifting my hair as I'm blow drying it. Otherwise, this is gonna be all for nothing. So I want to dry as I'm lifting the hair away from the head in order to make sure that the roots get that little bit of extra volume that I'm looking for. All right, now that we are done drying, we can get started. As you guys saw, I did incorporate, or I do incorporate this paddle brush or a paddle brush into the drying process because I feel like it really helps to detangle and it helps to smooth out. My hair naturally is like wavy, slightly curly. And when I incorporate the paddle brush into the drying process, it just really helps to straighten it out a little bit. All right, so we are just going to section off our hair into two different pieces, a front, and a back. And then I take my back section and I split that in two. So I have a left side and a right side. Now from this right side, I'm gonna take a pretty big chunk. I work in big pieces and this is going to be my first section. It's gonna be super easy. We're gonna get through this really quickly. It takes me no more than like 10, 15 minutes, I swear. I mean, if you don't count the drying process because that usually takes a little bit longer. So we're gonna start off with this piece, curling it away from the face. And as we're curling it, we're also gonna let it go and we're gonna twist it like that. So let's do it again. Again, I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna clip it and I'm gonna start to curl it, but I'm also gonna let it go and twist it. And let it go and twist it. All right, so same goes for this side. I'm gonna split this big chunk into two. I'm gonna put this piece over my ear just to keep it out of the way. I'm gonna be curling away from the face. And as I'm curling, I am going to be twisting these, this piece. So hopefully that makes sense, what I'm doing. Curling and twisting, curling and twisting. And that's what's gonna create those nice waves instead of those really tight curls. So again, curling away from the face, twisting it out, continuing to curl, twisting it, continuing to curl through. You see, that's what's gonna make this softer wave. Going back to the right side, taking a pretty big chunk. So taking a piece from this section, 
I always take the back one, the furthest back one, and I curl away from the face. So curling away from the face, and then twisting and curling some more, twisting and continuing to curl the piece through. Like that. Now this next section, I'm gonna curl towards the face. So curling toward the face, twisting and then curling again until you've curled all the way through. And this last piece is gonna go away from the face. Like that. All right, so now that the back section is done, it is time to move on to the front. I always part my hair right down the middle. I'm just gonna take a brow pencil here. So I work with the right first, and then I will move on over to the left. And honestly, it's the same process as it was with the back of the hair. So taking a pretty big chunk like that, getting this out of the way. And since this is right next to my face, I like to curl away from my face when I'm working with the pieces that are around my face. I just don't like dealing with my hair getting in my face. It drives me crazy. So I'm gonna take my curling wand, wrap it around, going back, twisting and continuing to curl and continuing to curl. All right, taking another large section and this I'm just gonna split into two. This back piece I'm gonna have come towards the face, just so that when I go to um, brush through or like comb through my curls, I don't want them all heading in the same direction because then they can all kind of gather and then it looks like one large curl instead of like the singular waves that you're looking for, you know? And then of course this piece right here that's next to the face, I'm curling away from the face. Twisting and curling, twisting and curling and pulling it through. So I'm gonna separate my bangs from this last section. Do two sections back here. All right, and of course, last but not least, the bangs, so grabbing them like this and just Twisting them, curling and twisting and curling and twisting. You see, it's all very repetitive. Once you get the hang of it, it's it goes by so quickly. Like you don't, it does not take a lot of time at all. So let me work on this side now. All right, so now that the curling is done, it is time to go back with a wide tooth comb and I just brush through it and that's when you're going to be able to see those nice waves all throughout the hair. Now if you feel like there are certain spots that you want to kind of fix or like right here for me like this just looks like it's too much in unison and I don't like that so I'm going to actually curl this one in a different direction or by itself really and then that will kind of separate it from looking like it was all together. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this piece right here. I feel like it's too much in sync with everything else and I don't like it. So I'm gonna be curling this one toward the face since everything else was kind of going away from the face. This is just gonna separate it like that. All right, so now that I'm good with the way that it looks, I go back with my volumizing texture spray. This one here is from IGK and just kind of spray it throughout. And then that way the hair has a little bit more grip. All right, and that, that completes the look. 
All right, and that completes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's hair tutorial and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.